in terms of a Kabbalistic uh, energy, uh, the Bina is possibly the crushing, the splitting, right? Mm. Because we said, you know, the, the Bina is the where we get the, um, where it gets processed. It gets yeah, right? yeah. Yeah, and then the, the, the knowledge is, is the, the, the dot is the flame. Yeah, so, yeah, beautiful. Good morning, everybody. Uh, we're uh, Wednesday morning. We're here again, ready to um, <clears throat> engage with uh, the Parsha of the week, Parsha Tetzaveh. A look at commentary, the Me'or and I uh, commentary on, uh, this is the Chernobyl Rebbe. And before we jump in, let me, um, I I'd like to show you how you can access our uh, resource uh, sheet, which is on our website. <clears throat> so the uh, if you'd like to, uh, look at the Hebrew text that is in our the resource uh, sheet. And you go to our website, theibronicircles.org. Um, you click on Jewish resources. There's a drop-down menu. And then you go to Parsha videos. And uh, this is where the uh, shiur, where the lesson is going to be uh, um, uh, posted after it's edited, etc. You go to Parsha videos and... Um, Right now, Titzav is short, uh, a source sheet is uh, is right there. And you can scroll up, and then you can scroll within this uh, window. So there's a sor source sheet. We're going to be looking at the very first verse of the Parsha. V'akat tzavet me'Yisrael, ve'ikhu elecha shemen zait zach, katit lamaor, le'ha'alot ne'er Tamid, which is means you shall further instruct the Israelites to bring you clear oil of beaten olives for lighting, for kindling lamps uh, regularly or forever. And uh, if you scroll down within this window, then you have the excerpt from the Orinaim, Rabbi Menachem uh, Nachum uh, Tversky of Chernobyl, his 18th century. Uh, uh, um, a great Hasidic master. And there's the Hebrew that we're going to uh, tackle. Very, very, uh, uh, really inspirational. Uh, another quick way to go to the source sheet is uh, you go to hebrewlearningcircles.org slash parsha da, da, uh, dash videos. But again, you can also go to uh, our homepage. And while you're at it, um, at it you can uh, uh, check out uh, other Hebrew Learning Circles um, Classes and resources, etc. So uh, here we go. Vehine hadat hu bechinat vav shuam shachat Torah. So he starts with uh, actually with with, with a capitalistic uh, uh, principle that uh, the sefer of dat is the bechina of the letter vav, which uh, is symbolizes the um, uh, the flow of Torah from above to to below so from the the you can say from the godhead to to us to our own minds and um, so in the sphere of dot the word dot means uh, means knowledge but it means really intimate knowledge spiritual knowledge not just uh, technical knowledge um, yeah uh, Rebelli, what do you uh, add right. to that? well um so if we had a few hours, we could just scratch the surface of this one word we and this one of these first <laughs> five words of this tyrant. Okay. But very briefly, in in the way uh, the uh, Kabbalah, the um, the, the uh, mystical understanding of, of of the Torah and the creation of the world, so we have uh, we have uh, uh, intellect and emotions. And in the intellect, we have three areas of intellect. We have wisdom, we have understanding, and we have das, yes. knowledge. Of course, what these things mean. So very, very briefly, chachma is the germ of an idea when someone gets, hey, I just thought of a, a little, the light bulb goes off in the head. 
Being is when I take that light bulb and I sort of start to write down and pick apart and try and uh, flesh out uh, this idea. And DAS is when the idea is fully fleshed out and I take that DAS and I incorporate it into the way I interact with the world in a real, very real way. Mm -hmm. That's knowing something, as you stated, very important. It says that Adam knew his wife. Mm -hmm. It means intimacy. It means really, really, I become one with that, with that wisdom and understanding. That's called knowledge. And in terms of God's holy name, the Yud, the He, the Vav, and the fourth letter, the He. So the Vav, if you notice, the Vav is a long line. Mm -hmm. So that this represents knowledge because it's the, it's the drawing down of ideas mm -hmm. in, into and becoming part of me. Mm -hmm. so that's a basic overview of this idea. And we'll see how the Chernobyl Rebbe uh, incorporates this into the idea of the olive oil. Yeah, to go. So, um, so the reason he's focusing on the letter Vav, which represents Dat, is because the, the Parsha starts with and you will instruct. And it goes on uh, um, about the oil and all that. So the question he's asking is why and you will? Why ve? Why the vav? It should have said ata, just you will instruct. But he's starting with a whole different question. <laughs> we'll, it's, we'll, get, we'll get to the vata later. He's saying why is um, Moses' name not mentioned? In, uh, in, in this Pasha. And in the past, it says, you know, and God instructs Moses, tells Moses to tell people, people. And here it says, and you, we assume it's Moses, you know, but, uh, but his name is not mentioned. And he answers the question, And this is because the Pasha of Tetzaveh is always on a week where the week of this parsha is always the week of the seventh of Adar, and, and that is the date that, according to tradition, Moshe, Moshe passed away. So it stands to reason Moshe passes away on this week. We, we don't mention his name. Um, and that's why his name is not, um, is not uh, mentioned in this parsha. Ki nistalek Moshe. Because Mo Moses has uh, is gone, is is departed, but but he is still present in the Torah, even though he's no longer so, uh, uh, um, physically there. And uh, that is why he is in the, as it were, like the vav, like the letter vav. Uh, and that's why it says. And you will titzave. The vav represents Moses, which also represents the dat knowledge, and you'll explain that. Perush vav ata. So the meaning of vav is 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 you vav ata. You are the vav. Shehu adat, which is the uh, the energy or the sephira um, in kabbalistic terms of of knowledge. Hamshachat Torah, which is the which is the um, uh, the flow, the extension of Torah, and the, and the Torah is Tzave Lashon Tzavta. So, uh, what, what is the Torah, you know, giving us here? It gives us Vata Tzave. You will uh, instruct, and the word Tzave Lashon Tzavta comes from the word Tzavta, which means Vechibur, uh, which means a, a connection, a a, a linking. By the way, vechibur vav, the letter vav also is the vav achibur. It's also the letter that the conjunctive it, it, in the in the sentence in the grammar it says this and that, right? And you will. So just to clarify that, perushet echaberet bnei Yisrael. And what, what does that mean? Why, why, uh, uh, why this tzavta? Why this connection? Um, it means that you shall connect the people of Israel, and they will take 
to you. So he's quoting here the words. He's starting to go through parsing out the, the first sentence of the Parsha. And they will take to you. Literally, uh, it means, and they will take oil for your purpose, right? That's the little, the, the pshat, that's the little meaning. Uh, but what does this mean, says the Chernobyl? He says, Perushi et atzmam lecha. It's not taking you, it's not taking oil for you. It's taking themselves to bring themselves closer to you, to God. And to attach themselves to your rungs, to your levels, right? This, this is the spiritual levels. Now, here I'm, is it the spiritual levels of God or the spiritual levels of Moshe? That, that's I'm not super clear about. It, it seems Moshe Rabbeinu. Moshe Rabbeinu, it says the, that there's a little piece of Moshe Rabbeinu in every generation, says the Zayar. I a see. A little bit of Moshe Rabbeinu within ourselves. In other words, he, he, he was nostalgic. He, he lived his natural life and then he passed away. But his level of understanding and knowledge which was firsthand, he implanted right. in the DNA of the Bnei Yisrael, of Klai Yisrael. Got it. And that's so the I, idea of Tzavtza V'chibor. So, so I misspoke a little bit here. It's not, uh, it's, it's the connection with Moshe, with the aspect of Moshe, and it's bringing themselves closer to what Moshe was modeling, that, that place of, of full knowledge that's intimate with, uh, with the higher realms. Okay, so uh, stand corrected. Which the Moses' essence was to extend the knowledge of Torah. Because even the Torah is, is, uh, is named after Moshe. As it's, it's written in, in Malachi, the prophet Malachi, chapter um, uh, Malachi Gimel, Kafbet, chapter 3, uh, verse 22. Torat Moshe, Avdi, Kima Maram. Go ahead. Uh, no, that's he's going to quote a different Chazal in, in a moment. But this part, this verse in the in the prophet, it says, uh, "Be cognizant, be always aware of Moses's Torah." Right. Torah. Mo, it's called. Right. In other words, the, a name represents the essence of a, of a person. The Torah is why I mean the Torah, God's Torah, the, the right. Jewish people's Torah. No, it's literally Moses' Torah. Moses' Torah. Right. That's his point. Right. So it's not and it's only not, Moses' Torah in, in a certain aspect. Right. So it's not random. Obviously, it's God's Torah, but Moses' Torah means that, that we don't randomly assign because it's, it's, you could say the Torah is Moses' life story in a way, but, but it's more than that. It's, it's the essence that Moses represents, and this is the essence of that. Um, right, which, and, and the quote you're about to say seems at first glance to, uh, to, uh, to solidify that idea in the terms that it's only Moses' in a certain way and not others, but he's going to reinterpret the quote we're about to Say so. Uchima uh, Maram, and, and as they said, Chazal obviously Shamal Hakadosh Baruch Hu Yeshua, that uh, that the Holy One, blessed be, uh, spoke said to Joshua, Lomar lecha, if shal shatorah nikret al shem shel Moshe, uh, it's not possible that uh, the Torah is uh, named after uh, Moshe Moses. U Moshe Avdi met since my my. Uh, um, uh, my, my my servant uh, Moshe is dead. Tardan uh, Go go out and, and distract them with war. And the uh, the matter is uh, thus, as it says, that Moshe is the aspect, the essence of of that of knowledge. Shall call Israel. Of all the people of Israel, it's not only him, he includes within him all of the people of Israel. And through him was extension of Torah. And when Moses died, the Holy One did not want 
אפילו לומר להם, do not want to tell them that he died, ואמר צא ותרדן במלחמה, go out and, and distract them with war, פירוש, what kind of war, what does it mean? במלחמתה של תורה, the war of Torah, שעל ידי מלחמה שבתורה יוכלו לבוא בעצמם אל הדעת. That through the war of uh, uh, Torah, I would think of the war of study Torah, of studying Torah, yeah. Right, so just to uh, bring it back a few notches, just to explain what happened here. It, it appears that God is telling Joshua, the leader who took charge, uh, who became the leader of, of the Jewish people after Moshe Rabbeinu passed away. It appears as if he's telling Yahushua, Moshe was Torah. You guys aren't going to win with Torah. You've got to fight actual wars. You've got to go into the land of Israel and fight wars now, physical wars with weapons, because you don't have what it takes mm-hmm. to, just be, to just win with spiritual Torah concepts like Moshe was. Mm-hmm. It was Moshe was Torah from Moshe. You're not Torah from Moshe. It's just you've got to go fight. So it seems like a little bit of a, of a mm-hmm. dig, mm-hmm. of a change of uh, emphasis. Mm-hmm. But it's being reinterpreted here as, no. No, the war is the war of Torah. You guys have it too. Mm-hmm. You've got to fight for it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you've got it in you because Moshe Benu, what he left, he gave it to you. Mm-hmm. He was above. He brought it. He, it's in each and every one of your essences. You right. have it, but it's hidden. Right. It's Torah Haganus for Torah. Right. That's what it's, yeah. So, so you, need, you need to struggle for it. Moses has a, has a gift. You have it as potential. Right. And you have to you have to struggle for it you have to fight to to claim your that essence within you yeah okay perush shel torah in the struggle of torah of study torah shall torah through the the struggle of the battle within Torah, people will be able to uh, attain uh, the level of knowledge by themselves, which is, uh, which is hidden within the Torah. And that's what it means to uh, take to you uh, pure uh, olive oil. That means the, the wisdom is called olive oil. As the sages have taught, a person, uh, the, the, the sages said, it's a quote, uh, a person who wants to attain wisdom needs to um, habituate themselves with olive oil Zach with with uh, um, uh, Zach means uh, pure with pure olive oil. Um, it's, uh, so they call it virgin olive oil, right? We we still you go to the store, you look at a bottle of olive oil, it calls virgin olive oil. So so this is sort of like the the pure, the high grade of, of olive oil. Perush, this is beautiful. Kaf zayin otiota Torah. So what the word the word Zach. If you reverse the letters, you get kaf zayin, and kaf zayin is the is is the the Hebrew the, the number twenty seven, and in the Torah we have twenty in Hebrew we have twenty seven letters, including the sofiot, including the final forms of the letters, and those are the twenty seven letters are the twenty seven the letters that you know that make the Torah. That's the language of the Torah. Shat Torah mechokma. Nafkat v'hu chokhmato itbarach, because the Torah is made; it comes out of wisdom. V'hu chokhmato itbarach, and this is the wisdom of the divine. May may he be blessed. Well, yedeze yuchar adam lidvok bo, and through this, a person can attach oneself to him, to the divine. Itbarach, may may be blessed. Katit le maor, and then the verse continues. Katit le maor, katit is is uh, crushed. Oh, crushed. Yeah, thank you. Uh, crushed for the purpose of 
uh, producing light, perush shechatetu et atzmam, which means that they should crush themselves. <laughs> so the concept of crushing oneself in 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 uh, in, in in study and effort, right? Lavo el amaol to come to the light shebetoch haTorah that is inside the Torah. Kemaamar Razal, as the sages have uh, said, Hamaor Sheba Vechule. Are you familiar with that uh, with that quote? Um, uh, yeah, but they say that the the, the, the sages have have it. It's probably from the Gemara somewhere. But it says that that the light is within her. I, I think what what he's trying to say here that we're talking literally talking about. Uh, lighting is an external light, right? We're lighting a candle, we're lighting a lamp. But here we're saying, don't take the lamp so literally. The lamp is about the the light that's within the Torah herself. Laalot ner tamid, and he continues with the verse. What are we lighting the light for? It's for there to be an eternal light, because we know in the temple there was this was the eternal light that would keep it lit all the time. Shebezita lui kol haalot. Hanishamot. And in this uh, perpetual light, the ascent of all souls depends on it. It's, bo- it's both externally, but it's also internally. How would a soul rise if you don't if you don't invoke the if you don't uh, light the inner light, right, for a soul to rise? I'm having the image of a um, well, they call it a, a, a hot balloon, right? Uh, you have to keep the light going for the balloon to rise. So, <laughs> it's the image that comes to mind. Shenikraim ner. K'mo shekatuv ner Hashem nishmat adam. And he says, so why do the souls uh, need to rise with, uh, uh, you know, with this light? Because souls are called ner, are called lamp. As it is written, shekatuv ner Hashem nishmat adam. The... Um, the, the candle of uh, of God is the soul of of a human being. And the ending here, the punchline, where you see God's wisdom, which is Torah wisdom, distilled into the Torah. The Chachma, which is the first stage. However, that's like the oil, the pure oil, when it's still inside of an olive. It's not going to do us any good. Yeah. In order to get, to connect and attach oneself to divine wisdom, yeah. you got to get to that oil. And the only way, it's a mochama. We're not holding where Moshe was just like, okay, give it to me. We have to work hard to get it. That's a mochama. That's a, that's and, a battle. That's a battle. That's a battle. It's yeah. an ethical daily battle, a moral battle. It, it could be many battles that we face from moment to moment, from day to day. It's a struggle. Mm-hmm. But without the struggle, it's impossible. That's what he's saying. It's impossible mm-hmm. to get to the das, to get to the divine wisdom without a struggle. You, it's got to be crushed. The oil has right. to be crushed. Right. The and, point is that to get to bring out the bet, you know, they say whatever doesn't kill you makes you Better, yeah. but you have to have the you have to have the, that attitude yeah. right and if you notice over 2000 years the crushing mm-hmm. the attempted crushing of the Jewish people has just made us mm-hmm. stronger and more determined mm-hmm. we haven't fallen victim to victimhood so this idea of getting to the das through the crushing is an unbelievable metaphor you know it occurs to me uh no, absolutely. I mean, this is this is very real. I mean, it's a it's a simple, you could say, procedure for producing you know, producing a, a um, an artifact in the temple, but the meaning behind it really has to do with the way uh, we handle ourselves in in our lives, and and uh, and uh, which is there's a reward, but there's also a demand. There's an effort that, that's required, and. Mm-hmm. Also, it's occurred to me as he started there um, that he does mention chokhmah. So if the chokhmah is the oil, and, you know, so the bina, in terms of a Kabbalistic 
uh, energy, uh, the bina is possibly the crushing, the splitting, right? Mm. Because we said, you know, the, the bina is the where we get the um, where it gets processed. It gets yeah, right? yeah. yeah, and the, the the knowledge is is the 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 dot is the flame. Yeah, so, yeah, beautiful. beautiful. He, he he doesn't mention bina, but it's just it just occurred to me that yeah, you're missing is not there. It's missing, but that's right. Yeah. But if he's thinking about chokhmah as chokhmah, the sefer of chokhmah, and das is the is the nair. So, if, you know, I think if we if we asked him, you know, he probably would have said, "Yeah, <laughs> Bina is it." I'm just speculating, but I like it. You know. So. Yeah, I like it too. It yeah. works. <laughs> That's beautiful. Uh, for those who are uh, listening to us um, at home, I just want to, um, before we open this up to. Uh, a discussion for those who are in uh, in the waiting room. With those who are in the waiting room, um, I want to uh, invite people to uh, uh, those who are viewing us to uh, like um, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Uh, the Hebrew Learning Circles channel. Um, uh, also, um, we're going to be here again Wednesday morning uh, next week uh, at nine o'clock. So join us again. Uh, may we all be blessed. And uh, shalom for now.